This is a video for AQA Further Pure Mathematics. This calculus section 4.4 we're looking at integration using parcel fractions where the denominator has got a repeated factor. So the process we have is that we're going to be using partial fractions and it, these help when we've got algebraic fractions to integrate. Once we've done that, the integral can be split into two or more separate integrals that are easier to handle than the original. If we've got a repeated factor, then you will probably end up with more than two integrals. And note that some of them will not be log integrals. So let's look at an example. Here we've got x plus 15 over x minus 1 and x plus 3 all squared. Now this is one that we've already looked at in terms of the partial fractions. And so we can take the um, partial fractions which we found in a previous video and rewrite this integral as 1 over x minus 1 minus 1 over x plus 3 and then remember because there's a repeated factor there's another one which has got x plus 3 squared on the denominator and the value of the coefficient for that one was 3. So the partial fraction work if you want to check through it again then please do so but those are the coefficients um, sorry beg your pardon the, the the values of the constants for the partial fractions that we found before. Now each of these can be integrated. The first one of course is a natural logarithm so this is the natural log of x minus 1. Second one again so we've got minus natural log x plus 3. But the, the third one is not a uh, natural logarithm, this is just a power minus 2, so when we integrate we're going to get power minus 1 and then divided by that minus 1 means that we get plus 3 times x plus 3 to the power minus 1. Plus of course a constant of integration. Well, tidying that up, the two logarithms can be combined. Of one we were, we're subtracting here, so that means that we can write the logarithm as the logarithm of x minus 1 divided by x plus 3, and then expressing the second part as a fraction 3 over x plus 3, plus the constant. So here we have it written out just to go through again. Remember that we'd already uh, done the partial fraction work earlier. It's important that you check first of all though before doing that that the numerator and the denominator, uh, that the, the powers of those, the numerator here is power 1 and the denominator is x cubed, so power 3. But you must check that the power of the denominator is greater than the power of the numerator. If it isn't, then some division would need to be done before you moved on to partial fraction work. Once we've got the partial fractions, then the integral can be expressed as separate ones, all of which are straightforward integrals to find. Two of them were logarithmic integrals, and the third one was a simple power. So the process is to check the denominator's higher power than the numerator. If not, then divide to find a quotient and remainder. Split the second part of that if you have uh, something to be split into partial fractions and then you have parts of the integral that can be handled, handled separately. And do remember though you don't always have integrals which are going to be logarithmic in nature as in the last example. Well, 
Well, that completes this video. Uh, in the final one, we'll be looking at, again, integration using partial fractions, but this time where the denominator has got a quadratic factor.